or successfully fixed this generator with no voltage. This generator that can power our apartment, we successfully fixed it by changing Hey guys, welcome to class for today. Once again, this is Benko Institute of Technical Studies. I sure do know you've enjoyed our video so far. If you have, please do well to subscribe. And please do share this link to friends and family so they are in the know of the beautiful videos and technical skills that can be acquired on this channel. As well, drop your comments via the comment section so we can interact. All right, on today's class, we have TG950, the Tiger Generator 950. It's about a one kilowatt generator. It basically can power your house if you have a TV and lighting points and baby fans as well. It can do justice to them. But we have an issue here. This particular generator cannot power our house at the moment and um, we'll be working on that in this in a short while okay i'm going to put on the generator and use our voltmeter our multimeter rather um, our multimeter rather to to check for the voltage to see if it reads and if it's able to power if it doesn't we work on it all right before then, I'll put on the generator. we did get 10 volts what that simply means is this okay i am a professional so it's going to be very easy for me to fix this up but let's assume you haven't seen you haven't been able to lose a generator before and you haven't seen a fault like this when you have a generator that reads a lower voltage let's say 10 volt 15 volt as against the 220 volts we do expect that shows your capacitor is gone your capacitor is dead and there is need for a change all right for that reason i'll go straight to the capacitor i'll change the capacitor so at least you are able to do this when you encounter such uh issues I'll take off the tank first Okay, this is the capacitor we have this is the capacitor and um, we'll be putting another capacitor using another capacitor to buttress our point okay looking at the capacitor is looking at the capacitor it's it's a door you can't really tell from the capacitor if um if visibly if it's good or not but we know this capacitor is bad at the moment and there is need to change it. This is another capacitor we got. This is a 30 uh, microfarad capacitor. Now 
you have to put this carefully and the norm is supposed to be clipped just like this other one but in the absence of that we improvise Right. Touch on it. All right. Before putting off, putting the tank back in place, we have to put on the generator to see the voltage we'll get this time around. Change the capacitor and we got 230 plus volts. In this part of the world, 220 to 240 volts is our voltage system. So, therefore, having fixed the capacitor I believe you can simply do this yourself because it is one of the easiest uh, one of the most common problem to uh, encounter on this generator this portable TG950 generator and it's also one of the easiest to fix all right we've successfully fixed this generator with no voltage this generator that can power our apartment we successfully fixed it by changing the capacitor this is it from us from today's class if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe turn on your notification bell so when there are videos posted you're among the first to see them please do well to share this link to friends and family and do not forget to uh, drop your comments via the comment section so that we can interact together. Till we meet in our next class, it's goodbye from our end.